Welcome to an introduction to chemistry brought to you by Parkbench Tutors. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, just look us up on Facebook. In this podcast, we're going to take a very short look at the units that are normally used in chemistry for mass and volume. Our definition of mass is that mass is the amount of matter that an object has, whereas weight is the effect of gravity on the object. So weight is a force, but gravity right, is the force. And the standard unit of mass is the kilogram. Remember that we are using metric units. So if we look at our metric units of mass, we find the standard unit, or the base unit if you like, is the kilogram, the abbreviation kg. A kilogram consists of 1,000 grams and can also be written as 10 to the power of 3 grams. And then the other common units are bases of or parts of a kilogram, a gram, a decigram, centigram, milligram, and a microgram. You will find that grams and milligrams are frequently used in chemistry, and in some sciences you will find micrograms, particularly in physics, are used. So our conversion factors then, a gram is a thousand milligrams, kilograms a thousand grams, and between the two systems, metric and imperial, a kilogram is 2.205 pounds and a pound is 453.6 grams. So to convert between the two, if we want to know how many grams there are in 2,400 milligrams, because there are 1,000 milligrams in one gram, the equation that we use is that it will be equal to 2,400 milligrams times one gram divided by 1,000 milligrams. The milligrams will cancel out, so our units will be grams, and 2,000 over 1,000 is 2.4 grams. If there are 0.4536 kilograms in a pound, right, we can use this to convert the old units into more recent metric units. So if you have a pack of butter, which is eight ounces or half a pound, you want to convert that to grams, it's 0.5 times 0.45, sorry, times 453.6 divided by one, which is 226.8 grams. Now volume is the amount of space taken up by matter, we, we measure that in litres, and commonly we also find the cubic capacity is expressed, and there are a thousand cubic centimetres in a litre. So one cubic centimetre also becomes known as a millilitre. Other common expressions are a thousand litres is a kilolitre, a thousand lit hundred litres is a hectolitre, ten is a decalitre, and so on. You will find in chemistry deciliters are frequently used and centiliters, one tenth of a litre and one hundredth of a litre. But probably the most common one is the milliliter. So how many litres are there in 350 milliliters? Well, to do that we multiply 350 milliliters by one litre and divide by a thousand milliliters. Again, the units, the milliliters, will cancel out to leave you with litres. Now one point to remember is that when we talk about conversion between metric units and imperial units, if we deal with the units in the USA, they're not necessarily imperial units, and in particular the units for volume are different. So that in the USA there are 3.79 litres to a gallon, but then the imperial system are actually 4.55 litres to the gallon, so bear in mind there is that difference. So if you ask how many litres there are in so many gallons, you need to know whether it's US or imperial gallons. In this case it's US gallons, so we know that we're dealing with 3.79 litres to the gallon, so 4 US gallons will be 4 gallons times 3.79 litres divided by 1 gallon, the units, the gallons, will cross out, cancel each other out, which will leave you with an answer of 15.16 litres. That ends this short podcast on mass and volume, brought to you by Parkbench Tutors, narrated by David Hopcroft. For more information about Parkbench Tutors, please look us up at parkbenchtutors.com. Thank you for watching and for listening. We wish you success in your studies.